morning everybody happy friday apologies this probably isn't the best lighting because the window is right there um but i am just taking apart or un unpackaging yes sienna um you can do the next one unpackaging some new palax boxes which i've had for uh, over a week my friend went to ikea and picked them up and i've just not got around to um assembling them and sorting out the toys yet I'm not really getting around to doing a lot, if I'm completely honest, because Sienna is at home, which means she's just a trail of destruction everywhere she goes, and she's constantly in need of my attention. Um, so she's completely back to her normal self today. She went a little bit downhill last night, so you probably saw at the end of the, um, the vlog that I put on, the story time vlog, that she was a bit cuddly and saying she was tired. Um, well, that just continued. She said she was tired, she didn't feel very well. So as soon as Kev got in from work, I took her upstairs and she was asleep by half past six, which she needed. She was desperate for that sleep. She was up at half past four. Which by then she'd had 10 hours sleep, which is loads for Sienna. She normally had eight to nine hours and she's up. Um, so having almost 10 hours sleep was good for her. Not so good for Kev because he slept on the sofa. I didn't even hear her wake up. She came down here. Do you want some help? No. Let me just start it and then you can pee it. Because you're just slobbering. It. You're just slobbering all over it. Sienna. Yeah, well, I can open it with my um, Yeah, we haven't got many teeth left to open anything with, have you? And also her... Uh, breath stinks and I've just been googling it because I was panicking thinking no one wants to smell your breath through no you can't smell her breath through a screen but still no one wants to see inside your mouth um I've just been googling it is it normal because I'm panicking like is she getting an infection but apparently it is normal um unless it's pain accompanied with it and she's not in any pain How do you know it normal? but I've managed to get her into some clothes today she's just um got herself dressed and we're about to head out in about half an hour um, go to a we're not going to a funeral. Reese is going to a okay, funeral. Never been to one before. In fact, none of the children have ever been to a funeral. You have. Um, Jamie went to one the other week, you which was somebody that he knew. I didn't know. And Reese has got one today, same situation. And I always thought that I would be with them at their first funeral. And I, I feel a bit sort of like. Especially for Reese, because Reese is um, Reese is very much the same as Felicity. He's a sensitive one, and he gets really overwhelmed and really emotional. So the plan was, I need to zip it, love. Look, there's a zip. Um, I need. I was planning to take him over, sit in the car, and then if he got overwhelmed and too upset, he could come out to me. But he's got to be there for half past, half past twelve, and it's probably not going to finish until two. There's no way I'm sitting in a car for that long with Sienna. So we're going to pop, no not yet, we're going to pop into town aren't we? We need to buy a birthday present for River because it's her friend River's birthday, she's just been writing her a birthday card. And um, I want to get her. Well, don't say on here, she'll watch it and she'll know what you're getting her. Okay, I'm feeling. You must put it in my ear, not too close. Or maybe, we'll see. Um, but we're going to go and buy a present and we're going to go for a Costa. And then we're going to go and pick Reese up. Afterwards, and then it'll be school one time. But, oh yeah, you've been making more squishmallows. I think it's I'm so going to attempt to get some of these toys sorted out before we go because I feel like yeah. I'm not getting anything done at the moment. I'm not achieving a single thing, and the house is upside down, and Let I feel about, ah, about it all. So believe it or not, this is actually progress. Um, it's an absolute nightmare trying to get everything to refit back in this front room. That can't stay like that. I don't mind having the Barbie house there as long as it doesn't look like it's all just shoved in a corner, as long as it looks tidy. So there's too much now. We have no room for all of this stuff. Now we also have a Sylvania family house. I have sorted out all of the Barbie accessories into that tub. So that's done. Sylvanian family Sienna is sorted out as well. That's all Sylvanian stuff. So that's going to go into another tub. Um, bookshelf, that's got all of their games and such in. That just needs tidying up. I only allow toys as long as they all fit into like my spaces in here. So the four draw Calax, that's all toys. The two drawers of the bookcase and obviously the Barbies in the corner. If it can't all fit into that, 
then we've got too much. So something's got to give. Um, this has got now all of the Barbies in there, all of the Barbie play sets in there. That will be like an odds and bits and bobs. She's got like things like um, a fingerling, some little squishmallow toys, the little rabbit hutch. That needs all sorting out and putting into a, a new box. That other one which is currently empty will be all the sylvanian families and then the design friend dolls are going to have to live upstairs and some of this stuff's got to go because the kinder kin dolls have been naked for as long as i can remember and not really played with so they can get sorted and got rid of um yeah i just need to make make it all fit again so it all fits neatly and they can actually play because there's no point in having loads of stuff just shoved in corners and then there's no room for them to actually get it out and play with it um i'm talking fast because i'm um, recent sienna in the car waiting for me sienna set this up this morning super cute it's a little it's a party for her her little teddy bear so i'm not allowed to touch this this has to stay exactly like this until felicity gets home from school but anyway i'm out of time i need to go and take reese so i just bought sienna this mac and cheese even though last night brooke brought three of these home and there's still two of them in the fridge at home got a chocolate brownie frappe who are you keeping an eye on who can you see through there Brookie, brookie, brookie. Hey, look at <laughs> oh, yummy. Is it good? <laughs> I think somebody might have been a little bit hungry after the last couple of days. What do you reckon? Yeah, now I'm thirsty. Now you're thirsty. I bought her one of these because she's asked to have the same as what mummy has, but she doesn't like it. So now she's saying she's thirsty. Yeah. You've done so well to eat all of that mac and cheese. <laughs> you look positively full up. You're very full. Can I have a Pepsi Max? A Pepsi Max? No, you can't have a Pepsi Max. <laughs> no. <laughs> right, we're almost all back home for the day. I've picked Brooke up whilst I was at Costa because her shift ended. Picked up Reese, took him to where he needed to be next. Picked up Felicity, went to see Sienna's class, and all of her little friends all saw her walking through the playground from the window, and they were all like, Sienna's there, Sienna's there. Of course, then Sienna went really shy and quiet, but she gave her teacher, like her favorite teacher, the biggest hug ever. And I had to say, I'm really sorry, but her breath smells. <laughs> been Googling that all day, been Googling, is it normal? Um, and apparently, as long as there's no pain accompanying it, it is normal. I've been panicking, thinking, oh gosh, she's got an infection. She's going to end up, I'm going to have to, because it's Friday, I'm thinking, oh gosh, if she's got an infection, I need to get on the phone to the den dentist today so I can get some antibiotics. Um, panicking like mad. But according to Google, as long as it's not accompanied by pain, it's completely normal for it to be a bit after teeth extraction and I mean that's after one tooth extraction she's had eight out um so yeah apparently it's normal but she gave her teacher the biggest biggest cuddle ever um she's missed her well, it's only been a couple of days but she's missed her so much but she should be back to school by Monday um so yeah went to Morrison's picked Rue up it's sweetie Friday still forgot to buy dishwasher tablets I went to Sainsbury's last night and um, I was walking around with Reese going, washing liquid, because I normally do my food shopping on a Friday, I've not been able to do it today because of having Sienna at home. So I went to get just what I needed to get me through today and stuff for tonight's dinner. And I knew I needed washing detergent. And I was thinking, there's something else. There's something else that I need. Can't put my finger on it. It was dishwasher tablets. Been to Morrison, still forgot to buy any. So I've got a dishwasher full of dirty dishes. So I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go out again. Honestly, I'm like a flipping yo-yo. If only I didn't have such memory problems. I mean, I am the most forgetful person on the planet. The kids will say, I told you that, mum. Like I'll say, oh, what time do you finish work? And they'll be like, I'm not working today. Or I told you last night. And I'll be like, yeah, I've already forgotten. I am an absolute, yeah, brain fog all the time. But I did pop to New Look because I know it's supposed to be like, low spend no spend january just have to go and shut that door because all i can hear is the kids um so yeah i i know it's supposed to be no spend low spend january but the other day i saw a post for um new look 
all of their boots were £20 and I thought they've probably all gone like I'm probably too late to the to the game that's such a good deal and I went on and there was quite a lot still left in my size I did want a pair of um, flat boots but they didn't have any of them in my size which was a bit of a shame but I shared a link to it on Instagram so some of you might have seen it and might have got yourself a bargain as well. I didn't share the link to YouTube because I'd already shared an affiliate link that day and I didn't want to annoy people. So this affiliate link thing is brilliant for people like me and I didn't sign up for it for ages because I just, I didn't really give it much thought. But anyone that clicks on an affiliate link, then the person that shared the link will earn a few pence. So for me, it's anything between 3p and 10p, um, dependent on what the click rate is set to that day. Um, and it adds up. It really, really adds up. And it shocked me how much it added up and also made me realise how much bigger influencers must be making. Like, you know, you see like the likes of, I don't know, Mrs. Hinch and like really big accounts and they've got this wonderful lifestyle with these massive houses and all of this money, I can see how it can happen for these people because all of those pennies add up to quite a lot of money. Um, so at the moment, anything that I'm earning through affiliate linking, I'm putting into a separate account and that will be our spending money for whatever holiday we go on this summer. So if any of you do click on them, thank you so much. And it does mean means a lot because like I say it's all going into account that will really help in the summer holidays spending money etc um but at the same time I don't want to annoy people I don't want people to start seeing me as like oh all she does is share affiliate links um because I I've seen that attitude towards other influencers and I don't want to have people thinking of me like that so yeah I didn't share the new look link with you guys maybe I should have because you might have missed out on a bargain um, but this was my bargain I got these lovely boots um, they are quite high but I think that they're quite a nice sort of dressy boot that I could wear if I was wanting to be a little bit more dressed up so my old boots the boots I've been wearing forever I don't know if they're they probably are around here because I haven't tidied up the kitchen today and I am terrible for taking my boots off and just chucking them on the floor. Um, look at the state of them. They're absolutely ruined. I've had these since last winter. I also walk over on my heels, so I end up wearing heels out. But yeah, they're disgusting. So they're what I had been walking around in. Don't like spending money on myself, although you wouldn't believe it this month because I spent for myself new boots and that's my dry robe over there on the door that I ordered. Um, and then Kev got me these for Christmas and he got them from Next and they were quite expensive. I think they were around £50 because they're real leather. So I don't want to wear these to death and kill them. Um, so I thought I'd get myself, I wanted to get another, a flat pair as well, like I said. But I thought if I've got a couple of pairs of boots, then I can alternate it wear, rather than wearing something over and over and over again until yeah. it's fallen apart when they cost that much money. Um, but generally... I tend to have one or two pairs of boots in the winter, a flat pair and a heeled pair, a couple of pairs of sandals in the summer, my welly boots and some trainers, which I never wear, um, but they're there in case I ever feel like, you know, doing any sort of sporty activity. Um, but these were a bargain, 20 quid, reduced, and they're also wide fit, which I need, and they were reduced down to 20 pounds from 42 pound 99. So I just felt like it was a bargain I had to have, even though it's supposed to be these lot, honestly, they've only been in the house 10 minutes, even though it's supposed to be low spend, no spend January, um, which I'm not doing very well at, because like I said, this is my dry robe. Anyone that is um, considering one of these, I've only worn it once, I wore it yesterday on the school run, and honestly, it is absolutely amazing. It's lovely, and you can get yourself all snugly. It's got a hood, and if I do it up, I can like, I can literally disappear. I said, if it's raining on the school run, you'll find me just stood somewhere like this, just letting it all just pour off of me, pretending I'm not actually outside in the rain. And um, so yeah, it's super, super cosy. Um, and I can't wait to be able to really get some, some use out of it. It's also absolutely massive. I can actually fit the girls inside with me. So I said, if they come out of school and it's pouring down, I'll literally just scoop them up and we'll run to the car 
but I bought it in a medium because I want Kev to be able to wear it as well. So I bought it in medium and in red rather than pink so that we can both use it because they're a lot of money. So I thought, how can I, how can I justify the cost? Um, one, I keep getting ill and I'm always cold. I'm wet and horrible on the school runs. Um, two, we can use it all right year round as we'll use it when we go paddle boarding. And three, it's made multi-versatile because we can both wear it. And number four, I'll be more inclined to go out in all weathers to walk the dog. But anyway, that's enough of me chatting about my recent purchases in no spend, low spend January. Because I'm really, really not on. Yeah, this just, it's right off. I failed. I failed at that one. Um, I need to get on and cook some dinner. I'm going to do chicken alfredo but i've got some gammon steaks that need using up so i'm going to chop them up into it as well and hopefully if i chop it up into little pieces sienna will hopefully be able to manage a little bit of that although she had loads of mac and cheese at costa so she can't possibly be hungry <music> chicken alfredo and we're gonna have it with garlic bread although i don't think sienna is going to eat anything we do still have another um costa macaroni cheese in the um, fridge so she might have to have that kids in from school and cooking the dinner i did manage to finish doing these drawers so i've got obviously all the play sets for the barbies this used to take up two drawers but now there's not enough for two drawers but i've still got that great big dressing table um, and it doesn't quite fit so i've just popped it on top of the barbies so that's all barbie stuff well some of it obviously there's obviously the massive house and the other stuff over the other side of the room and then this is going to be all of like the odds and ends little bits and bobs there'll be more added to that once I've sorted out the bedroom um, and then this one is all the Sylvanian families and yeah all of those bits and bobs so that looks better now it's all um, new boxes and tidy all of the designer friend dolls are going to go upstairs but that's going to have to happen on another day I don't have any time left today to do upstairs because now I've got to put all of this washing on to the air I don't know if I said earlier on I'm not using my tumble dryer anymore I'm doing two loads a day if it's needed and it's all going on this giant air <laughs> me all day but I've almost got on top of the front room those are two boxes down there that need to go upstairs to be sorted out that's some clean washing that I've just folded the sofa is tidy ish I've got a contact number for somebody to come and do a deep clean on the sofa in the spring like a professional one but we've had the sofa for almost four years which I think in a house as busy as this that's probably quite good going it's just looking like over here this is like everybody's favorite seat and it just looks crushed now it's like when you sit in it you proper sink into it my mum doesn't like to sit on our sofa she says that the seats are too deep so she's quite short bless her my mum she's only about five foot and if she sits in this sofa her feet don't touch the floor um so yeah it's it's pretty knackered we could do with a new one i am impressed though with how the carpet is holding up it's 
got a few stains on it so I'm going to get the um, carpet cleaner out in a minute and give it like a little spot clean but that's all sorted the dog bed is down there that's all sorted Era's loaded up with washing for the evening and I'm going to sit down and watch the telly so thanks for watching guys we will see you all tomorrow